So where can I have fun in Cranfield? Time to find out. Good morning. One big hub, one big social hub for the university is called the CSA, Cranfield Student Association. Now that is a bar for those of you who don't drink and try and avoid alcohol, but it's not a bar bar, it's more of a student area and uh, the alcohol is in a separate place. So it's not like you're going to a bar. Um, there's also a cafe that's separate and there's a kind of seating area, like a big amount of seating area. So you can avoid the sort of alcohol facing part of it very easily. There's also a nice beer garden, again, you can bring beer out there, that's the only thing. But it is a really lovely place to be and it's probably the nicest place to be in Cranfield. So I would recommend spending some time there, going for drinks, meeting people at the CSA. They also do a lot of events and sort of places that we can like meet up. The uh, CSA is most busy on Thursday and Friday nights and it's pretty much a Friday night venue. It's a one day a week gig. Everyone just gets drunk on Friday nights. It's really, really strange, but it just happens. It's not really the traditional university where people get drunk on a Wednesday, or at least in the UK, people do tend to sort of go out on a Wednesday. It's always a Friday and sometimes a Thursday, depending. There's karaoke, there's, uh, I think, Hawaiian nights, there's a Christmas party, there's a uh, Chinese New Year celebration. Did I say Halloween? I probably said Halloween like six times. There's lots of cool things. And all of these things tend to happen in more towards the beginning of the year. So I would say that if you're looking to have some fun, try and do it before Christmas break, because after Christmas break, you'll find that the mood of the university will change a bit and everyone will be wanting to sort of knuckle down and study. So if you are trying to sort of make friends and looking to do something and you're thinking, oh, maybe I'll just do it in January, just, just do it because it's not like most universities where you can just sort of reinvent yourself by January, which I found that I used to do a lot when I was an undergrad. Yeah, it's, it's not really like that at Cranfield. Everyone's just a bit more mature and everyone's got kind of their own things and it's just a bit more intense. So I definitely try and do as much as you can in September, October before things tend to die down and people get a bit bogged down with study. We have three, four bars on campus. To be fair, two of them belong to the two hotels. One of them is a CSA and one of them is a College Arms. College Arms is pretty cool. You can play some darts. <laughs> have some beer. I think they allow dogs, which is nice, and have some food. They had like a little back rooms and everything. They did curry nights. And there was a um, little Chinese restaurant there that was quite cheap. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of the food, but that's just me. I think they did a good garlic mushroom. So I think the university, they're gonna kind of take it on. I don't know, like CSA 2.0, which is kind of a shame because the College Arms was pretty cool. It was like a nice place to go for like drinks and basically to see dogs. It was a cute little place. And I'm sure the university is probably gonna replace it with something nice because they said they were gonna orientate towards students. They're actually trying to do a lot more student-friendly activities right now at the university to give them credit. I'm probably gonna wrap this up here and try and explain a bit more about Cranfield life in future videos because I feel like I have a lot more to tell you guys and I don't want this video to get too long. I myself hate long YouTube videos. So I'm gonna try and keep these short and sweet, sweet and simple. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please stay tuned if you want to learn a bit more about Cranford life and I'll see you.